everybody welcome back to my channel english edu class today in this video let us learn the grammar and composition part and in specific we are going to learn the phrases and in the phrases we are going to learn the infinity phrases well i am professor venkatram we are assistant professor of english at government first aid college gudbande chipalapur district friends let us explore the world of infinity phrases in this video i am going to use some examples and also expand some of the concepts related to the infinity phrases Yeah, let's begin now. Just look at this example. A good habit is to go for a walk in the evening. Well, in this sentence, you know that to go for a walk in the evening is an infinity phrase, and the phrase is serving as the object of the sentence. Further, this phrase is used as a noun of the object. Let's come to another example. She wants to maintain a healthy lifestyle. This is the same thing like the previous sentence. In this sentence, to maintain healthy lifestyle is said to be the infinity phrase. It is also coming as the object part of the sentence. Well, this object is serving as a noun. Let's come to another sentence. To dance beneath the stars with her is the boy's only goal. Well, let us break this down. What is the sentence talking about? It is about dancing beneath the stars with her. To dance beneath the stars with her operates as a noun and serves as the subject of the sentence. Then we are met with the linking verb is. Is is one of the most popular linking verbs. That is, it is not showing action. Rather, it is linking the subject to further information found in the subject complement. In this case, the subject complement are that all a bit of information is the boy's only goal. What is about dancing beneath the stars? It is the boy's only goal. Let's look at some more examples. I want to read the book quickly. You have plenty of time and money to spend foolishly. Well, in this sentence. You see, see that red shaded part of the sentence. In, in the, the first sentence, sentence, to read the book quickly, and the second sentence, to spend foolishly. These two phrases are called the infinity phrases. You could also observe that to read is the infinity form of the sentence in the first sentence. The book in the first sentence is serving as a complement or direct object. In the first sentence. You could also notice quickly, which is adverb, and serving as a modifier of the sentence. In the second sentence, to spend is the infinity form of the verb, and foolishly, which is adverb, serving as the modifier. Well, you can understand that the infinity phrase may consist of an infinity form of the verb, the complement, it may be direct object, or the modifier. Yeah, let us go to the concept of the infinity phrase. An infinity phrase has an infinity. For example, to sleep, to have walk, to consider, to throw, along with its objects and modifiers. It is a verbal construction made up of the particle to and the base form of a verb, with or without modifiers, complements, and objects. It can appear in various places in a sentence. Either it may be in the beginning, a middle, or even at the end of a sentence. Friends, this infinity phrase can function in a sentence as a noun, an adjective, or an adverb. As a noun, it might act as the subject of the sentence. For example, to travel is the only thing on our mind. As an adjective, it will modify a noun. For example. She always brings a book to read. As an adverb, it will modify other adjectives or other adverbs. For example, she braved the rain to search for her lost cat. From the point of view of examination, I have given examples. Just look at these things. 
underline the infinity phrases in the given sentence help to build the roof in sentence to build the roof is said to be the infinity phrase second sentence the officer returned to help the inspectors to help the inspectors is an infinity phrase let me show you the best way to fit the door quickly in this sentence to fit a door quickly is the infinity phrase come to the fourth sentence she tells you to dance like no one is watching well for this sentence to dance like no one is watching is the infinity phrase come to the fifth sentence i want him to water the plants to water the plants is the infinity phrase come to the sixth sentence she reminded him to buy the vegetables to buy the vegetables is a infinity phrase come to the seventh sentence the teacher asked him to listen his lecture to listen his lecture is the infinity phrase eighth sentence she wanted to sing a song to sing a song is the infinity phrase friends out of eight types of phrases you find in your examination questions like this maybe you are able to answer them Let me give some examples now. Jenny gave a neatly packed gift box to her mother. In this sentence, the noun phrase is the neatly packed gift box. In this sentence, there is also another phrase to her mother. It is the prepositional phrase. Come to the second sentence. Can we adopt that little brown spotted dog? In this sentence. you can notice that that little brown spotted dog is a noun phrase come to the third sentence joshi enjoys watching volleyball matches in this sentence watching volleyball matches is a gerund phrase fourth sentence the green and red balloons look perfect in this sentence the green and red balloons This phrase is a noun phrase. Come to the fifth sentence. During the bus ride, I talk with my seat mate. In this sentence, with my seat mate is the prepositional phrase. Sixth sentence. The carpenter slipped off the ladder. Off the ladder is the prepositional phrase. Seventh sentence. The country of Burma isolates itself from the west. in this sentence isolates itself from the west this phrase is the adjective phrase eighth sentence ben rode on his new foam surfboard in this sentence on his new foam surfboard is the prepositional phrase ninth sentence in summer we eat dinner on the porch in this sentence on the porch is the prepositional phrase come to the 10th sentence pictures moving across the screen came later in this sentence pictures moving across the screen is the gerund phrase at noon we all went to lunch at noon is a prepositional phrase it was a very old joke a very old joke is a noun phrase 13th sentence i made the cookies by hand by hand is a prepositional phrase in the 14th sentence the car travel at high speed at high speed is the prepositional phrase and the 15th and the 15th sentence i looked under my bed well under my bed is the prepositional phrase friends i am sure this video is highly informative for you people and will be helpful for your examination If you want to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on any kind of updates related to our syllabus. Well, never forget to like this video and share it to your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you would meet in the next video for an interesting session. And take care bye.